Welcome back to the Photography Clips Podcast. Today let's chat about something that's buzzing everywhere. Brain training. You've seen it, right? Those ads on your phone promising to sharpen your mind, boost your memory, and keep your brain as fit as a fiddle. I've always been a bit skeptical about those claims, but hey, when it comes to photography, there's actually a cool way to get our creative juices flowing. So here's a little story for you. Did you know there's a special part of our brain that's like the secret sauce to seeing the world through a photographer's lens? It's not about those brain games you see online, but something called the reticular formation. This little guy is the multitasker of our brain, handling everything from how we move to how we deal with pain, and even whether we're awake or dozing off. But here's the part that gets really interesting for us shutterbugs. There's this thing the reticular formation does called habituation. It's basically our brain's way of filtering out the noise of everyday life so we can spot the truly important stuff. Like, think about a mom sleeping peacefully through the hustle and bustle of city traffic, but waking up instantly when her baby cries, or how we tune out the blaring TV but jump up when our alarm clock rings. It's all thanks to habituation. This got me thinking about how we, as photographers, can use this to our advantage. Ever notice how some photographers have a knack for spotting the most incredible photo ops? Like, one might have an eye for capturing the drama in the clouds, while another always finds the magic in foggy mornings. I bet you've got your own photography triggers, too. Those things that just make you stop and think, Wow, I need to capture this. Most of us have honed this skill without even realizing it. We've naturally gravitated towards the subjects and scenes we love, and they just pop out at us now. But here's the kicker. We can also train ourselves to notice new things, expanding our photographic vision. Imagine deciding to capture more architectural beauty or wanting to fill your portfolio with shades of blue. By consciously looking for these elements, we're training our brains to spot them until, one day, it becomes second nature. So, my friends, let's use this little brain hack to our advantage. Photography isn't just about what we see. It's about learning to see the possibilities that others might overlook. Start noticing, start capturing, and who knows? Maybe that new perspective is just around the corner, waiting for you to snap it into a memory. Let's keep our eyes open and our cameras ready. The world is full of unexpected beauty and it's our job to share it. Keep snapping, keep exploring, and let's make habituation our new best friend in photography. Thank you for listening and subscribing to the Photography Clips podcast. If you would like to learn more about my photography, please visit photographyclips.com. I hope you have a wonderful day. Now go and enjoy the beauty of God's creation through your lens.